Hello there, Duncan, guardian of the dark shell. Hello, Jimmy. I was just thinking, isn't mankind a fascinating and resilient creature, able to survive and prosper anywhere in the world? Could there be any greater proof that we truly belong here, sir? A shrewd hypothesis, Jimmy. Anywhere in the world, you say? You see, Jimmy, if at any point you find yourself more than five meters above a flat surface, you can expect to be punched to death by gravity very soon. Except, of course, there's a 70% chance you will hit open ocean. I'm alive! Sides preserve us, sir, I'm alive! That's right, Jimmy. And with no land in sight, you will now spend your last few hours alive, kicking helplessly into the abyss, praying to be eaten by a shark. Unless, of course, you happen by a piece of flotsam. Hurrah! Life has found a way, sir! My faith is upheld at every- In which case, you will spend your last few days alive, dying from dehydration while surrounded by water. A fate as cruelly ironic as it is indescribably agonizing. Sharks will avoid you now, Jimmy. All you can pray for is the courage to drown yourself. Why, well, fair cops, sir. I think you might have made you... But wait! I'm not being fair. We're only on the Earth. You weren't to know, Jimmy, but it's a very different story in the Earth. <laughs> you see, you're <laughs> the man. Oh, God, make it stop! <laughs> now, this bit is really going to twist your melon, Jimmy. This world is not just a planet. In fact, if you were to transport to a randomly selected point anywhere in the universe, the odds are as good as 0.9 occurring to 1, Jimmy, that you will land in a black, empty void where your blood and organs will boil through your skin, freeze-drying you in moments. Moments, Jimmy! Just enough time for you to reevaluate your body's misguided sense of belonging in this world as it violently pulls itself inside out. Good night, Jimmy.